Hello everyone, my name is Linda and I work at the Perry Library, which is part of the Maricopa County Library District. Did you know that we have some great digital English as a Second Language resources that are free with your library card? Here is a chart listing each item. The blue boxes have the sign up and login information. The resources on the left are on our website, mcldaz.org. The resources on the right are apps that you can download from your app store. You can take a screenshot of the chart to keep for later on. If you want to stop this video here and try these resources on your own, go for it. Or stay with me as I tell about each resource and show you how to log in. The first one I want to show you is Tumble Books, which is a collection of talking ebooks. These are great for ESL vocabulary, pronunciation, and comprehension. First, we go to our website, mcldaz.org. Then, find these buttons up here on the left side and click eMedia to get the drop down menu. Tumble Books is near the bottom. Click on it to go right to their page. There is no need to log in. There are picture books here and they are animated. You cannot hear it in my video, but if I click this and press this arrow, the words change color as a voice reads them. Click Read Along here to see more choices. There are easy readers, and then these are more difficult as we scroll down the page. There are no animations, just the reading. Brain Fuse Help Now, the next resource, is found on our website under the Learn button. Again, this menu drops down and we are going to choose the first one. This resource is for students of all ages. Log in using your library card number and your PIN number. There are lots of homework help topics, but we are going to click on Skill Surfer and find the ELL tab. ELL stands for English Language Learners. Notice that this resource is for elementary through high school students who can read in English. This elementary topic is Common Grammar Issues for ELL. It begins with count and non-count nouns and is designed to help your English sound better. Our next resource is Gale Courses. Gale is also found under the Learn button and are for advanced adult learners. Each college level class is six weeks long and you will interact with your instructor by messaging in the program. There are reading assignments and sometimes activities. Before you create an account, you will find the class that you want to take. We will search for ESL. Two classes pop up. Choose a class, choose a date, and then it will ask for your registration information. You can learn more about the instructor, look at the syllabus, and more. Next is Rocket Languages. This resource is also under the Learn button. Once you log in and click on English, it looks like this with basic lessons. You can start at the beginning where it is very basic or you can choose a more challenging lesson down here. The next group of resources are easily accessed from apps. 
that you download onto your device. There is a link here in our media tab if you wish to use a computer like I'm doing today. Otherwise, go to your app store and download the app for each one. The first one is Hoopla. After downloading the app, get started creating an account. Find your library. Again, it's the Maricopa County Library District. Add your library card and PIN number. Enter your email address and create a password for your account. Now you are ready to log in. Once in the program, search ESL to find books and audiobooks. Click on the book to check it out. With Hoopla, you get 15 checkouts per month. At the beginning of the month, your count resets to zero. As an aside, you can also explore lots of other media on Hoopla. Movies, TV, magazines, and these really great new binge passes, which allow you one checkout to binge your favorite comics, Hallmark shows, and other fun media. Next is Canopy. Canopy is streaming video mostly indie and classic films, but they also have an ESL video series to help you learn very basic English. Instead of counting checkouts, Canopy gives you 30 tickets a month to watch their programs. Each program uses a certain number of tickets. Again, this resets to zero at the beginning of each month. After setting up your account, like we did in Hoopla, you will be able to browse or search videos. When I type ESL here, it brings up these classes. Again, these are very basic English classes. Next, we will explore Libby. You can use OverDrive only on your computer and Libby is the name of the app you will get from your app store. Since I am demonstrating on a computer, I am using OverDrive. This resource is a great go-to for ebooks, audiobooks, magazines, video, and much, much more. The sign-in process is much the same. Once you get your account set up and are signed in, you can search ESL at the top here and see all the ESL books and audiobooks they have to offer. They have quite a few audiobooks about grammar and pronunciation, but the ones I found most interesting are at the bottom of the page. These Pimsleur language program audiobooks teach beginning English using your native language. For example, English for Spanish speakers. To borrow one of these items, click on Borrow. Then you can access it on your device. So now you can access our many ESL resources with your library card. Happy learning!